Ukraine will strengthen the positions of its armed forces in Russia's Kursk region and expand the controlled territory in the region, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Saturday. Zelensky made the statement in a post on Telegram app, while commenting on the remarks by Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky. Thanks to all the soldiers and commanders who take Russian military prisoners and thereby bring closer the liberation of our soldiers and civilians held by Russia, Zelensky stated. Furthermore, Zelensky said that there are dozens of Russian army attacks on Ukrainian positions in Turetskoy and Pokrovskoy directions, stressing that our soldiers and units are doing everything to destroy the occupier and repel these assaults. The situation is under control, the Ukrainian leader said. Moreover, Zelensky said Kyiv was working on new support packages from its partners. We determine priorities. The main thing is the limitation of Russian offensive potential, the Ukrainian leader said. Ukraine launched unprecedented cross-border incursion into Russia's Kursk region last week in what became the largest ground attack on Russian territory since the start of the war in February 2022. Ukrainian defenders are no longer advancing as quickly through the Kursk region as they did in the first days of the border breakthrough. Putin's army is trying to stabilize the front line in this area. Analysts from the Institute for the Study of War analyzed the situation in Kursk and how it will affect the further course of the war. New satellite images from Maksar have shown that the Russians have begun actively digging trenches and building a new line of defense in the Lugov area along the lugov rilsk glukov highway. Another satellite image showed new field fortifications of the Russian armed forces in the south of Lugov near Highway 38K-024. The new defensive line appeared 17 kilometers from the northernmost point of the Ukrainian armed forces' presence in the Kursk region. This fact indicates that Putin is afraid of the rapid advance of the Ukrainian armed forces, which is supported by armored vehicles. The Kremlin also wants to secure its land-based communication lines, which could come under the fire control of the Ukrainian armed forces. In this area, the Russian Federation has always used the railway to transport its troops and ammunition to the Kharkiv region. Russian railways notified Belarus that all rail traffic on the oriol kursk line will cease as of August the 12th. With the march on Kursk region, Kyiv showed the West that it doesn't care about restrictions on the use of long-range weapons. Also, with this operation, Ukraine showed that they do not plan to sign peace with Putin in exchange for the occupied territories as Trump would like. In simple terms, Kyiv has made it clear that it is no longer a punching ball, the Times reports. British military expert Roger Boyce is sure that Zelensky made the decision to go to Kursk after the NATO summit in Washington. Then, Ukraine was once again not invited to the alliance, which did not please Kyiv much. Immediately after the summit, Volodymyr Zelensky concluded that Ukraine needs to fight the Kremlin in some other way. Kyiv is tired of constantly hearing no from the West to requests to use long-range weapons against military facilities on Russian territory. The Ukrainian armed forces have broken through the border with the Russian Federation using American and German armored vehicles. However, ATACMS missiles have not yet been seen in this military operation. 
Kiev made it clear that they are ready to continue to defend themselves, even if Trump comes to power in the United States in November 2024. Boyce is sure that with the military operation in Khorishchen, Kiev showed the world that the Ukrainian army is mobile and fast.